Hamster series, stargazing or backflipping hamster. Some lines of hamsters seem to produce hamsters with behavioral disorders. They are often termed as a neurological disorder or simply as stargazing. The term stargazing itself comes from a behavior that causes the hamster to stand on their hind legs, gaze upward toward the stars, and either flip over or fall on their back. This behavior is often repeated and is compulsively and involuntarily, meaning they cannot control this behavior. Also, included under this term are behaviors such as compulsive spinning and pacing. Every once in a while, a video goes viral on social media showing an animal doing something unique or unusual. One such example is a video that recently came to my attention of hamster that is repeatedly doing backflips. At first glance, it seems rather amusing and people can be heard giggling as the hamster flips himself over and over. However, closer inspection and observation, this behavior appears to be pathological. So we have three symptoms of stargazing. First one is the compulsive pacing, running in circles, and doing backflips or falling on their back. We have seven several causes for these symptoms to appear. The first one is the ear infection, swelling of the brain, growth on the brain, stroke, less than adequate housing, genetic neurological disorder, or and related parents or breeding related parents. So, how should we treat a hamster with a genetic neurological disorder? Owners of these hamsters, such as hamster hideouts, seem to agree that hamsters that suffer with this are greatly impacted by stress, leading to their behavior to so increase in severity and regularity. It is recommended that these hamsters are not subjected to unneeded stress. Instead of doing a full cage cleaning, try to do partial cage cleaning so that their whole cage isn't disturbed at once. In a full cage cleaning must be done to be sure to leave several handfuls of the old substrate and sprinkle it around their cage so that their home doesn't smell quite so strange to your hamster. Keep the layout of the cage similar or the same as this will help to reduce the stress of a new environment. While this wouldn't normally bother a hamster, even the smallest things can cause stress or excitement to a hamster that suffers from these compulsive behaviors. On top of reducing stress, a large one-level cage is recommended so that the hamster has room to spin or whatever the particular behavior might be without risk of falling or having to climb ramps or tubes. A variety of toys and things to do in the cage can help to keep them from be becoming bored and to attempt them to divert at least from the frequency of their behavior. The cage should be in a room that is quiet and free from too much excitement, activity, or noise. With all our hearts, we hope that this brings awareness on stargazing in hamsters. The next time you see something like this occurring, you might think twice before laughing. 
neurological disorders in humans are no laughing matter. What more in our beloved pets? If you're noticing any symptoms of stargazing in your hamster, kindly bring your hamster to a local veterinary and seek appropriate medical attention. Again, happy pet, happy keeper!